What's going on guys, Galaz Ark here, and in today's video we're doing a bunch of the ducking, but as you see, we have got some wood, just simple decking timber, it's a very cheap wood if you want to do all the stuff like this, if you want to do what we're doing, but we are just putting it as the skirting and capping for this to attach the mesh to, and also to connect the poles together and look nice, just like the rabbit pin as have done the tops for all of that. But yeah, gonna do the bottom and also the middle as Georgie likes to rub up against this mesh and is making it come apart and stuff. But just to have it all sturdy and connected, that will look great. So let's start cutting this wood to size and attaching it to the poles. So we have made a start adding the wood. As you can see, we've got it along the bottoms, starting almost at the end there. And then we're doing a bit up because that's where Georgie pushes in. Instead of putting a bit of wood in the middle there, put it a bit lower so that that's the height of Georgie's body so he can't push against the mesh as he was doing to mess it up. So I think it looks great and making everything so much more sturdy. Can't wait to finish it. So we are slowly getting it done. It is looking awesome. As you can see, almost done this whole front fence. And yeah, almost finished, got the gate lined out down here, so we can start building that and attaching it onto here once the rest of this is done. So we have now built the gate, took us a bit, but it looks absolutely awesome. Now we've just got it raised up off the ground, and now we're going to add some hinges to it. We're going to add four hinges because this is the biggest gate we have, so four little hinges should do great, but yeah. Let's get so that attached. we finally got the gate up, got four hinges on it, just to be safe, you know, you can never be too safe. And the lock works great. Got a nice big handle here, opens up like a treat. Chicken, you're not allowed in here. Or you, Georgie. But yeah, got it done and secure. It looks absolutely awesome. And we can now start planting in here once we get some mesh up along there, which we'll be doing today. So then, we will be able to plant some plants that are desperately needing replanting into here. So that's going to look awesome. And now we can finally start digging the pond out more because the chickens are no longer going to be scratching and destroying it. So I'm super excited about that. And also we can finally add the food bins in here as Georgie can no longer get here to open them. So it is all coming together and I'm so excited how it will progress. From now on so i've now done all of this up here fenced it off so that georgie can't go into the chicken pen and jump over here as he does so now that is all secure so we can add the bins back to there and start planting this up more so we have some of these nice beautiful greeny orange grasses they will look awesome around the pond have two of these buxus bushes which I think will look good along back there, just to bush up. There we just have had them in a bucket of water for like so long now, but they are doing great, ready to be planted. And we got a nice big flax bush that should hopefully grow nice and tall. And as you can see, starting to flower up here. So hopefully that should attract some tuis and other native birds, which will be awesome. Can't wait to get these planted into the ground. So, there was four of the little bushes in the bucket, so planted four little bushes along there. That looks absolutely awesome. So, I have got both of those grasses planted. They look awesome. But also, just adding this nice piece of driftwood right in front of the flax there. It looks absolutely awesome, but we're gonna get so many nice, big, awesome rocks and driftwood to put around the pond and everywhere just to make it look so much more natural. So I've now cleaned out the whole pond of all the leaf litter and all that stuff that's fallen in and all the stuff that the chickens love to scratch and as this used to be a nice mound and you see where they've scratched away and had their dust baths and all that stuff but now that it's fenced off we can start shaping the pond properly without any worry that Georgie or the chickens are gonna destroy the nice edges. So now we can start digging out the rest of the middle here until it's how we want it and then we can do dig out the bog filter which is going to look awesome. 
So I've now started to dig out the rest of the pond. It is looking good. Just getting all that dug out to the same level down there. And then I can start building the next shelf, which is going to go along here a little bit. So then there'll be three tiers to it. And all the animals are doing good. Goats interacting with each other. We've just got this pen finally enclosed in so that Stormy can be out here and Georgie can't bother her as he's trying just to get them used to each other and to get Stormy used to staying outside as she's getting close to three and a half months and usually they're outside by two months so she needs to be outside now and she is loving it so I've got the bottom level all smoothed out and level and now time to build the other shelf but as you can see it is wet because it was raining this morning and now full sun so it is so humid so hard to work in these conditions so got this little house from the recycle center for 20 bucks what a steal it is a nice sturdy house super heavy duty and it is awesome nice inside there that'll be perfect for the ducks so now time to use the dolly to bring it into the duck pen. So, got it in the duck pen now. That was pretty hard to do. Had to move some rabbit hutches around and get in here without the chickens or Georgie getting in here as Georgie's gone in here before and started eating the plants. So tried not to let that happen again. But the idea is to get the duck house in this back corner here as this little fence panel is gonna go across back there into the tree. And then a little duck house there. So I got it in place the best I can and it looks pretty good. Now I just gotta get the house here and there was a little gap down here. So I just put a little bit of fencing mesh stuff there. But yeah, it is awesome. Time to get the house over Okay, there. so I got it back in the corner there and it looks awesome. In the future, we're gonna give it a paint job as it was from the recycling center. So it's got some paint and stuff on it. The roof is fine, which is great because can't paint over that type of material, but the rest, needs a paint job but we're going to do it like a traditional barn with the red and the white trim that we're going to do with a bunch of the other stuff in the backyard as well so it has been a little bit but the grass and plants in here are growing absolutely amazingly it is going absolutely awesome and pond starting to fill up with some leaves but it is dying down and this has had time to compact so I think I'm going to shape out the bog filter but digging that out to the shape we like it as the next thing we're doing is the pond itself as we have been busy doing the quail aviary and a bunch of other things in the backyard as you have seen but that is all doing great now time to do this okay we have it a lot more dug out got the bog filter mainly dug out and got the shelves of the waterfall that's going to be there that is going to look awesome just got to dig the rest of that up and build the walls up we have bought the pump tubing both the liners everything we need for this pond to come together all we need after that is more rocks as we'll use all them then they see what other ones we need hopefully the ducks will love this pond but yeah let's get it together so we have some underliner on the bog filter and the waterfall and we got the smaller pond liner in here that will lay everything then once we get some underlayment in the big pond then we'll get the big liner to go in there but first we've got to add this got the liner in and it is looking awesome it is raining at the moment so that will help naturally fill it up but that was good for shaping the bog filter as the dirt was more malleable and didn't just crumble so now we're going to run the hose back here fill that up so it stays in its shape then we'll be able to fill that with gravel and all that stuff but then we got to put the underlayment in and fill this massive pond that will be the fun bit and see the waterfall run into it so there we have it filled with water and the ducks are straight in it having a proper swim that is awesome to see and we've got this bucket of rocks that we are going to start pouring in there and there is Severus in the water as well. That's just a small version of what they're going to get down the waterfall. But yeah, that is going to be awesome for them. And we have a whole wheelbarrow full of rocks that we're going to fill that entire bog filter with. 
So we put first wheelbarrow full of rocks in there. We cleaned them the best we could, but it was never going to be clean as we wanted it. But that dirt should settle as well as when the pump starts pumping it and it should all clear up as well as the rain overflowing the pond. But we got the underlayment in here and now Mrs. Glass is going to get the big liner so we can lay that in the whole bottom here. So we are just filling this up and letting it waterfall down into the big liner we just added in. That is awesome and we dug a hole back there for that tub. That's going to be the little surface skimmer which will do great but as this fills up the waterfall should start flowing and so far it's going pretty good. Not leaking out anywhere which is great exactly what we wanted and they're flowing into the deep end. Okay, that's all filled with water and clearing and we put some rocks there just to see how it would look and that's going to look so awesome and natural once the whole thing is like that. But Quackers is loving it. Just plonked him into this big thing of water as he was swimming crazily in his pool so he should enjoy this massive space to swim in. That's going to be awesome. Quackers is absolutely loving it in there, having a big old swim. His wings are getting so big. So, the pond is a lot clearer, this is the next day, it's a nice sunny day, thankfully. You can see the bottom just, but hopefully when the pump's in there filtering it, it should be crystal clear. But I got a big can of expanding foam here, so we are going to use this on the waterfall and put all the rocks in, then foam the cracks, as if we didn't. The water would just run behind and through the rocks and you want to see the water but if you fill the cracks then it, it will go over so the water will be forced over the rocks and it will look awesome so i have most of the rocks on the waterfall there look how awesome that looks but it's still got the little shelved look so it will still run down and then down again but now i'm just going to put expanding foam in all of the cracks and yes it is white expanding foam but we'll paint that black and also put small stones over top of that before it cures. But yeah, that is looking awesome. Okay, so just got the water flowing, got the pump in there. We need to sort out the skimmer shortly so that it actually gets all the stuff off the surface. But got the tubing all around back that will dig into the ground and bring to the back of this. But look at that. That is looking awesome and works great. Got a nice flow, you can hear the water. And we've still got to cut back the foam, paint it black, add moss around the areas. And yeah, that will look awesome when it's done. And it will look so much better when there's rocks around the whole area, driftwood, plants. And then the final touch with the ducks swimming in here. And also the goldfish that we have for this pond. We have five goldfish that we have to add into here, but that's not for a little bit until the beneficial bacteria starts to grow. But that waterfall, is awesome we've got lots of big rocks here and we are adding them to the pond we've got some in front of the waterfall so far that is looking awesome got to fill in all the cracks and stuff with small pebbles like we did here but now I've just got to get all the rest of these big rocks into the pond the waterfall is not running right now because we're just pumping some water up as all these rocks raise the water level as you see overflowing over here but we have all the rocks and it was the perfect amount of rocks literally perfect we don't have a single rock left but we got this hole around here filled with rocks got that small shelf we made with rocks and you can't see it because it's murky i can't even see it either but all the way around on the bottom is filled with the big rocks now we're just getting multiple wheelbarrows full of small river pebbles because we've got to fill up the rest of the bog filter as well as fill around this whole thing and in on the shelves but once that's done this is going to look awesome then we'll be able to add all the plants so i've added another wheelbarrow of stones into there one more wheelbarrow and they'll be fill looking pretty dirty over there so we won't have the water flowing in here yet until it settles we've got some plants over here but also most of them scattered around to where they are going all around the area but those four buckets of plants are going to be in the bog filter so that'll be great it's the next morning and it has cleared up quite a little bit you can finally see the ring of rocks at the bottom slightly but you can definitely see that small shelf of rocks there that is looking awesome and we've just got to get the pebbles to fill the bog filter and everywhere else as we've almost filled up 
that whole thing just one more wheelbarrow i think will do it and we'll be able to add all the plants and but right now we just need to cut back a lot of the foam in there and then paint it all black and add the mosses and that will look awesome now that's dried because we have had that hose running in the main pond so that the waterfall doesn't get wet so we have the waterfall running we the water's dirty because we just put rocks up in there so that water's pumping down here super murky but we have painted all that foam black and it's looking incredible don't notice a thing and now we just cut this bucket open with this marginal plant that's going to go on the bog filter and look at those roots definitely was in need of a repot the roots were coming out the bottom that's going straight and that's going to look beautiful so we've got two of the pots of plants in there they are looking awesome but in the pots there was lots of snails we've got three different types of snails but we got some of these very pretty ones that are just everywhere so we're putting them into the pond as we love little snails so they're going to go in the pond and they're all in the bog filter as well so that is going to be very beneficial so it is looking so awesome got the big plant there and we split some babies off it and we planted them in some areas around it is looking awesome it's very dirty now but we got a few more plants to put in the bog filter and around there we'll get a bunch more in the future but that is looking awesome just sitting on the seat here at this view over here is absolutely beautiful so we have cut the liner back all along here we haven't done the back yet as we will get to that but cut it all along the front and now we're just adding another wheelbarrow of stones around this front bit so you won't be able to see any liner nothing and it will look so awesome we are making lots of progress around here and we're mixing in some little jagged rocks in some little gaps and stuff to make it a lot more natural some in the back there as well and i'm working up the waterfall side there that is looking absolutely awesome to cover all of that tarp yeah. so we have put rocks all around the main pond it is looking absolutely awesome can't see the liner around here and we got a few more plants in here we got this cypress that we bought and also this nice long one that i can't pronounce the name of but also we got this delphinium for around the waterfall and it is a beautiful blue nice and tall that will look awesome and now i'm just working by putting rocks up that side of the waterfall and then going around the whole bog filter that'll look awesome so mrs galar has got most of the plants in everywhere got lots of them a couple more to plant though but i've got all the rocks up that side of the waterfall and that looks awesome when you come and sit down here it looks so natural from this angle i absolutely love it but now i'm going to get the rest of the rocks that are in this wheelbarrow here to start putting along this first shelf to hold there and then that will make the water super dirty but once it clears that will look awesome so it's the next afternoon and that has cleared up nicely that is crystal clear it is doing extremely well still got to add some more rocks and we'll do that tonight so hopefully it clears by tomorrow but i'll show you in the morning when the sun is hitting the pond it looks absolutely beautiful the sun is hitting the pond beautifully and you can really see how clear it's getting it is almost crystal clear and i need to add a few more rocks to the bottom but that's looking good and then we have a whole other wheelbarrow of rocks for all the other shelves and that big pile of jagged rocks over there to do the rest of around the bog filter okay thank you guys so much for watching the last couple things we did in here is we added the ducks they are loving it they're just chilling in the grass searching for bugs right now they have been loving the pond they've dirtied it up quite a bit we don't have the filter on right now but we've just got to turn that on and we've got some oxygen weed in the water with some snails that we added just to get some more plants in the main body of water. The ducks will be loving eating them, but we're just gonna plant them down in the rocks first. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is coming along great. We've got to plant a couple more plants in the future. They'll be mixed with a bunch of other stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.